All right, since that last video, I've made a little bit of progress. She's on the road now, but a little hit and miss, trying to iron out the bugs. Uh, I've made it to 16,912, so a little over 100 miles. That's 16,000, not 116. So here's how you drive it. Turn on, but first off, it's in neutral. And yes, if it's in forward or reverse, it will not you know, start, just be dead. It's fray of the camera. Okay, so the idle's a little fast, so if I hit these, it's gonna probably grind. You ready? Oh no, it didn't. Just listen for a clunk clunk. That's that selector movement. Okay, and this here, in this car, it's not working right. Normally, you leave it in highway and you flip it up to city, and something's wrong with that switch. It's disengaging the gears anyway. When it did work in the day, it was supposed to keep it in gear longer in first and second, so you could go in the city and not shift as much. The R8 automatic, they have problems with the bargain out. So here we go. Now just take off. It's basically like driving a manual. Go around this nice parking lot here. You can see, keeping it in speed off hasn't clicked on yet. I have fuel. Gauge isn't hooked up. It's actually smooth, but big bumps like that, not so much. Nice mirror. It drives so easy. Okay. Okay, so that was it. You heard it let off. Ow. My kidneys. Okay. So I'm gonna hand this to my assistant and hopefully she can capture the excellence here a little bit. Like a door seals or something. Here we go. So let's see. If I get this right. I don't know if you can hear it. Then it you'll
suck it. Like I already did, sometimes you can't tell. Okay. So. So to recap, you drive it basically like a manual. Here we go again. What's interesting is, remember, there's only an ounce of stainless steel powder moving this car. It would actually connects the mechanical part of the flywheel to the electronic part. So, stainless steel powder. All right, here we go. Watch out for that.
say for five seconds, it's, it's a random time, and it'll then go down to, to the next gear below it. So if you're looking for third and can't find it, you'll stay in second. But until it finds a gear, the throttle really doesn't work. So you hope it makes up its mind quite quick when you're in traffic. And the way you can help that decision is to let off the, the throttle until you feel it click or you'll hear it. These cars don't have the best reputation. 